I'm excited to tell you what's going on in the Midwest Glacial Lakes Partnership. The Midwest Glacial Lakes Partnership, referred to as the MGLP, is one of 20 fish habitat partnerships under the umbrella of the National Fish Habitat Partnership. I'm Joe Noner, the coordinator for the partnership, and I'm going to highlight some of the partnership's accomplishments and activities. The MGLP was created in 2009 when a group of fisheries agencies, conservation organizations, and others identified the need to partner in conservation for this unique resource. 13,000 years ago, the Wisconsin glaciation covered our region in ice a mile deep. When the glaciers retreated, they left over 40,000 lakes scattered across the upper Midwest that create the MGLP today. So expansive are these lakes that if you walk the lakeshore of every lake in the partnership, you'd have walked the equivalent of three and a half times around the world. Now a critical part of the culture and identity in these states, the lakes provide ecosystem services through recreation, clean water, and of course, fishing. Over 7.1 million anglers in these eight states spend $8.4 billion annually on fishing, most of which is occurring on inland lakes. The MGLP was created to help partners work together to protect, rehabilitate, and enhance sustainable fish habitats in the glacial lakes of the upper Midwest for the use and enjoyment of current and future generations. So what do we do? We conduct scientific assessments to determine the condition of and threats to fish habitats. We enable partners to complete on-the-ground habitat conservation projects through our Lakes Conservation Grant funded by the National Fish Habitat Partnership. Since the MGLP's inception, we've brought in $4.25 in external funding for every NIFAP project dollar. We conduct education and outreach to improve understanding and spark action resulting in fish habitat conservation. And we provide a forum for those seeking inland lake fish habitat conservation to share strategies and resources. Let me expand on these a little through some examples starting with our lake conservation grant. Lake sturgeon are threatened species across much of the upper Midwest. Part of their life cycle requires them to travel thin rivers to spawn on cobble and larger rock substrates, but dams and other barriers impede them. Our lake conservation grant allocated funds to a project put together by lake associations, the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, and others to improve fish passage for lake sturgeon and other species like walleye through the construction of rock arch rapids behind two, two low head dams on Lake Lizzie and Prairie Lake. These projects reconnected 10 miles of river and over 12,000 acres of lakes. Across the upper Midwest, residential development along shorelines threatens fishes by increasing erosion and nutrient inputs to lake, degrading water quality, and decreasing the amount of aquatic vegetation and woody habitat. In South Dakota, the Department of Game, Fish, and Parks is developing a broader program to protect and rehabilitate shorelines and is using the heavily fished Fickerel Lake as a demonstration site. The South Dakota Department of Game, Fish, and Parks is partnering with the Pickerel Lake Conservancy to rehabilitate shorelines along Pickerel Lake with an estimated 25% reduction in erosion and sedimentation across the entire lake. In 2011, a handful of peer-reviewed publications had just been released demonstrating the importance of fallen trees and other woody habitat to fishes and lakes. Biologists in Wisconsin were developing a protocol for rehabilitating this habitat by dragging in trees over the ice and anchoring them to the shoreline. Wisconsin DNR partnered with lake associations to develop demonstration projects for this nascent effort and use the lake conservation grant funding to accomplish the work. Fast forward 10 years and Wisconsin DNR has developed a protocol they've dubbed fish sticks that is used across the state and the Midwest. And the DNR provides funding for fish sticks installations across Wisconsin using their Healthy Lakes grant. The lake conservation grant also funded the MGLP's science and data team as we combine fish and other lake data from state, federal, and tribal agencies to develop the MGLP Lake Conservation Planner. This provides an objective, evidence-based system for classifying every lake in the partnership based on models of its fishes, the health of its watershed and shoreline, and the amount of protection in these areas. The planner uses this information to recommend conservation strategies tailored to each lake. The tool is used over 3,000 times by 1,300 users, 80% of which are return users. The MGLP's Lake Conservation Grant requires that applicants consult and incorporate information from the tool into their own proposals, along with other sources of information. The MGLP's Science and Data team has completed additional assessment work, including a refuge classification for Cisco, which are an indicator of climate change and threatened in some states. The team is continuing its assessment work under a $675,000 research grant from the USGS Climate Adaptation Science Center to assess and predict fish populations and their habitats across the partnership. In 2018, 
The MGLP hosted a symposium at the Midwest Fish and Wildlife Conference. Presentations addressed management needs identified through a survey of the MGLP's partners and resulted in a themed issue in the peer-reviewed journal Lake and Reservoir Management that provided literature reviews and new information on topics including large woody habitat, climate change, and aquatic vegetation management. The MGLP continues to be an information hub for lake research, management, and conservation through its webinar series. We've hosted 10 webinars with 1,300 views in real time or of the recordings. The series has been a huge success, and we have 20 lake conservation webinars planned for 2021. Finally, the MGLP produced a shoreline living document, which is an outreach document targeting natural shoreline property owners with five vignettes promoting natural shoreline beauty. With over 55,000 copies printed by the end of 2022, the document serves as an asset for MGLP partners and is available for order through the University of Wisconsin Bookstore. Thank you for your interest in the Midwest Glacial Lakes Partnership. As you can see, the partnership's on-the-ground conservation work, its science and assessment products, and its outreach products make the MGLP an incredibly valuable part of efforts to conserve fish habitats and inland lakes across the upper Midwest. If you'd like to learn more, please check out our webpage where you can sign up for our newsletter, follow us on Twitter, and reach out to me at any time.